Hey there, crazy kids. I am the Good Old Gamer, and welcome back to some more designs for Minecraft 1.8. Uh, just for the heck of it. So, in my Bountiful Minecraft uh, Let's Play series, I found a skeleton dungeon, which means I have to come up with a design for a farm for it, for both an XP farm and a loot farm. So I originally came up with the design like this, although I'm going to have to change this around because I don't particularly like it anymore. But this was my original design. So up here is a mock-up kind of of the uh, of the uh, dungeon little area. It won't look exactly like this, but I just came up with this for the purposes of the... Uh, of exploring the um, the design itself. So this is just an example. So right there, this nether this nether rack block in the middle here would actually be the spawner. I just don't happen to have a spawner block on me, so I use the nether block as an example. So this is the dungeon room that I remade up, and on every side I have one of these. Uh, redstone lamps that I can turn on with the switch in case I ever need to come in here to fix anything although I don't think I would need to then down here on the floor I have the uh, water going along the bottom here which goes down to the, the uh, front over here and then I have some water over on this side And the water here on these corners here make it so that the uh, skeletons that spawn in here won't get trapped in the side. They'll eventually get pushed around and down there. And of course they get pushed down into here which is just a drop trap. This is 23 blocks that they land on on here so all I have to do is go over is when I'm on that side, I hit them once and it kills them. Their loot sits here. And then if I can get up out of here. I'll be down here on this side and I kill them. Their loot's up on there. I flip that switch. The blocks move back because of pistons and the loot falls down into the hoppers. And then I have the loot in there. I have some extra bits because of the building process and stuff, but um, you get your bones and your arrows in there. And of course, any armors that the skeletons would have or anything like that. And of course, these little rooms over here are just the maintenance areas for the pistons. So I've got one repeater running that piston and redstone running this one so they can they don't connect together. And then I've got the redstone line going down and across here to another room with the same thing on that side. So they're all connected by one switch. Pretty simple setup. But I don't really care for this because I would have to rework it a little bit because I was dumb in my original process. And I put another chest on this side, which is kind of inconvenient to get to when everything else is on this side. So I would have to rework it a little bit. And of course, I've got a ladder here. And this ladder will take me up to the area to switch on the lights in the spawner if I wanted to. This all in the design this would also take me up here to stand here while the spawner spawns its skeletons out. Because you have to be within sixteen blocks of the spawner in order for it to be active and spawn things. So I would just have to stand up here and go AFK and for a while until it spawned enough skeletons. But I could just flip the switch here and all these lights turn on and that would turn off the spawner 
in case there was any sort of maintenance I wanted to do or if I was getting lag and wanted to turn off the spawning for whatever reason uh, I could do it and of course since I found the dungeon deep inside of a cave in a mountain I wouldn't even need this glass or anything here this is just for demonstration purposes and then of course I have a slime block here so I can fall down easy enough to get back to the area where the skeletons are so I could kill them and let's go back up here and I will show this to you guys in action here that's why I left this open so I could spawn them in And there they are. Some of them die for some reason. I don't know why. But some of them manage to live. So then you just hit them with one hit. You can even just punch them. Here, I'll show you. Um, get rid of that. A single punch. Knocks them down. You get your experience from them. Move the blocks back. All the loot falls into there pretty simple setup. Of course you'd want to have a lot more skeletons in there at one time so you get a good boost to your experience. Now like I said I wanted to rework this whole thing. Um, I decided that because I have to uh, be up here near the spawner anyway to get the skeletons to spawn in the first place and I have to sit up here and wait for them I uh, should redesign it so I don't have to go all the way back all the way down here in order to kill them and stuff so what I thought of thanks to mind Fiend's suggestion of uh, using a water elevator is that I have the same drop over here this would be the dungeon part and the skeletons would be pushed along with the water and stuff and instead they would fall down here this is the 23 block limit so they get down to where I can just punch them with one punch so they fall down here they'll eventually walk themselves into here this pushes them over here and because they like to bounce they'll end up going up this water elevator all the way back up here and this is essentially bringing them back to the roughly the same level as the dungeon that they came from so essentially I could be sitting here waiting for them to show up here at the end to punch them uh, and at the same time have the have the uh, spawner active and still making more skeletons if I align this uh, the right way next to the spawner itself probably in that same sort of junction room that I have over there I have this on one side of it somewhere so I'm within the spawner limits and then and right here where I punch them are a couple of hoppers to catch all the loot and then this is the little platform that I'd be punching them on and then on a lower level whoop let me get back up there on the next lower level uh, this here is just a chest that I sat on for the for the loot to be put in but I would probably put a sorting system in down here I'd probably connect this up to a sorting system to sort the bows and the <clears throat> armors and the bones and the arrows and stuff into different chests so I'd have a whole chest of arrows whole, ch whole chest of bones and then the other random stuff in a different chest or whatever um, but yeah using the water elevator deal I could move the skeletons after they've been damaged I can move them back up to an area near the spawner so I can keep the spawner active and kill the skeletons at the same time that seems to be a little bit more effective and time efficient it's all a matter of having about 30 blocks below the skeleton dungeon and I'm not sure I do I hope I do because I don't think it's 
too far deep into the ground, but I'm not really sure. But as long as there's about 30 blocks, I should be okay to do something like this instead and connect it to the spawner that way. So yeah, that's my uh, that's my Minecraft 1.8 design ideas for a mob spawner, in this case a skeleton spawner. But it would also work the same for zombies as well, if you wanted to do that with the zombies. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching boys and girls. I am the good old gamer. Uh, bye bye for now.